Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Serial at Midnight. I got brand new arrivals from Umbrella Entertainment. This stuff just showed up, so I've taken it out of like the, the shipping box. I haven't unboxed any of these actual products yet. I thought I'd fire up the camera. We could do that on camera. First of all, you see the size of this talk to me. Well, I don't want to spoil it. I think it's pretty clear what's inside. Probably, but I don't want to spoil it. This massive Dune collector's edition of the, the two mini series uh and then more arrivals after that. we got 4ks we got possession uh start with these these cloth goods because these shirts just said it's a shirt in a bag so this is the new uh, umbrella shirt that says feed your machine and on the back it's a lot of vhs tapes nowhere on here i don't think does it say umbrella entertainment i don't think this is yeah, I don't see Umbrella anywhere on here. So it's very subtle. You kind of have to know, well, a lot of these movies are uh, Umbrella titles. Anyway, that's really cool. And that's it. The, the, this stuff's available. Like they, they send me this stuff to spread the word that these things are out. You can buy these things at your, uh, at the Umbrella web store. Also, this tote this character, the umbrella, the umbrella has a name. I can't remember the name of the umbrella. I've probably put it here. And it also says feed your machine. So I dig that. We got to start with talk to me. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the, the movie. Now umbrella does these things where you can get the movie. You can get the movie as a bundle. You can get the ultimate web store, ultimate collectors bundle. That's what this is. Let's start with this it says oh it even has, it has instructions you guys so this is a replica of the hand and it comes with a marker that you can uh you know customize it yourself let me in talk to me collector's edition full-size customizable replica poly resin hand from a scan of the official movie prop you know i read they only made six of these for the movie Instructions, light a candle, two, clasp the hand, speak the words, talk to me, and invite the spirit in. Don't leave the door to the spirit world open for more than 90 seconds or else they'll want to stay. So I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat, this movie really freaks me out because uh, if, you know, if you know my unique upbringing, uh, it just triggers a lot of things for me. People that don't know my unique upbringing, uh, very, very deep in the fundamentalist movements, extremely... Uh, extremely oh there's packing peanuts all over it and they're even on here should, I, should we take this out let's do it very churchy okay let's just say that very churchy listen this is all this stuff's going everywhere you know that's how you know it's well packed though oh i just got a smell memory i just got a smell memory the the styrofoam this this or whatever the, in the U.S. we call it styrofoam. I think maybe other places they call it polystyrene. I don't know. Uh, I just got a memory of like unboxing the original Nintendo Entertainment System in like 1987. I think is when I got mine. Here is the hand. Wow, that is uh, <laughs> straight out of the movie. Really, really accurate. Okay, so now put this back in here. All right. Let's do it. Let's check out the, what, what do they call it? This is just the, this is going to be the, <clears throat> the collector's edition. The talk to me collector's edition is exclusive to the umbrella web store. By the way, as I'm recording this video, I'm going to get it up as soon as possible. This stuff's still available. Oh, hold on. This stuff's still available at the, uh, at the umbrella web store and they do ship to the United States and you can shop in your currency. Remember to shop in your currency. Uh, the Talk To Me Collector's Edition to the uh, okay official steel book with 4K and Blu-ray discs, 48-page bound book, uh, collection of behind-the-scenes experience, behind-the-scenes experiences and art includes an exclusive interview with Raka Raka, the Raka Raka Brothers, custom-designed outer rigid slipcase. That's this uh, with scans from an from an official prop hand. Even this is scans from the prop hand. Uh, A3 reversible poster, limited edition, numbered release. Let's see, I got number 2,215 out of 2,600. I do not know if that's indicative of, of uh, how many are left or not. That's getting pretty close to the to the end of that run there. Here, let me show you guys that. 
These videos are always a little bit challenging because I don't want them to be like 30 minutes long. I have to convey a lot of information in a short amount of time. So I'm going to let you do a lot. I'm going to let you do the reading. Here, let's take this off too. Because this should... Uh, come on. Pa-pow. All right. We have... Let's start with the steel book. It's a matte finish. That is really creepy. <laughs> this is really disturbing. And it's all kind of made up, too. That's the thing. Like, as effective as that movie is, it's like the Candyman thing or like the Bloody Mary thing, right? It's just like it's. it feels like it's like it could have happened. Okay. Here is the... I'm going to pop these discs off. This is the 4K disc. And this is the Blu-ray disc. Is that the same art on both? I don't think there's anything actually beneath this Blu-ray disc. Yeah, it's blank. So I didn't even have to do that. But now we know. Okay, here is our A3 reversible poster. What do you guys think about Talk To Me? Horror is such a subjective genre. It either works for you or it doesn't. I don't believe in ghosts, you know, I don't like slasher stuff like that. It doesn't really scare me. The spirituality stuff really gets under my skin. I'll tell you another one that really surprised me because I loved Rob Zombie's, like a, the House with Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Rejects. Then I saw. Um, Lords of Salem, and there was just something about it that really got under my skin. Uh, you know, I should check these because we're unboxing these together. I think it's all going to be fine. I can't imagine they're going to put anything really gory on one of these. <clears throat> I'm going to skip this one. It is kind of gory. You know, I'll put this back together momentarily. And then here's the book that comes with us. The Perfect Mount book. Your director statements. Statement. The transition from YouTube to feature film. Let me pack all this back up and we're going to talk about Dune, which is a crazy, crazy... <laughs> crazy bundle because here's a poster this is huge this has a uh, build your own 790 piece shy hulud uh, dune sandworm includes 250 page hardback book what uh poster and art cards it's four blu-rays it's the complete tv miniseries of dune and children of dune i think before this big screen Warner Brothers uh, version of Dune and, you know, this multi-part Dune, two-part Dune story that we're getting. I think this was considered the most successful adaptation of Frank Herbert's original material because for a while the original was dismissed. Uh, now it seems to have found an audience, which I guess everything does eventually. This is what we're going to be looking at here. Actually, I haven't even read this yet, so let's, I'm not going to read all of it. Beginning with the landmark science fiction epic Dune. Four and a half hour miniseries. I want to know what all. So, okay, disc one is Frank Herbert's Dune. Disc two is Frank Herbert's Children of Dune. Uh, to complement the series of Dune, over five hours of extras across two Blu rays. The making of Dune is over an hour. Making of Children of Dune is 13 minutes. Um, Frank Herbert's Dune, The Lure of Space is 25 minutes. Science fiction, Science Future, 28 minutes. Will McNelly on Frank Herbert's Dune is 12 minutes. This is a ton of stuff. I'm excited to check out the poster uh, of the book. Here, let's see the poster really quick. You know, it's funny. So this came now. Last night, I was on, I fired up Facebook. And Umbrella Entertainment, it might have been James who talked to me here on the channel, was assembling the sandworm. 
I don't, or I don't know if they're gonna make it through the whole thing, but they were attempting to assemble the sandworm. Oh, here we go. Ooh, nice. There's Dune. And then the Dune Collection. Is this the original, uh, it's got the sci-fi logo on it. Is this the original promotional piece of art? I think it is. All right, I'll pack this up later. Let's let's dig into this bad boy. I mean, this is just, look at okay. Let's admire the art now that we got the now that we got the packaging unwrapped. Let's see what's underneath this. Good lord. And then this is how you get it out. <clears throat> What? This is so well done. Look, I, now, it's not going to be for everybody. I get that. But for what it is, it's really well done. Ooh, I have number 21 of 1,500. Let me take this little glue booger off. You guys ever do that when you were kids? You'd like get these little glue boogers and be like, oh, you like put it on somebody and they'd be like, oh my gosh. Uh, my daughter did that to somebody and he threw up. <laughs> The kids he did it to threw up. Okay, here is... Wow, here's the sandworm parts. It's not Lego brand. It's a... Uh, did this say what brand it was? It's compatible with all leading brick brands. Inter instructions on building the facing... Okay, so it's compatible with all... Le so, so Lego, I guess, is the one we're talking about. And uh, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm, I'm not going to put this together. Certainly not right now. What if I just started putting this together right now? That would be crazy. All right, I'm going to put this back in this box. Very, very sturdy cardboard, too. Um, Dune Complete Collection. So if you just want this, you can just get this. If you want this, I believe they got three different options on this. Um, you, can, you can get different variations of this if you don't want the big brick sandworm you don't have to have it and that's cool oh we got reversible cover art let's see this says dune complete collection and then here oh it's the clean clean cover art without the without the what is this m oh me it's not for mature medium okay I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these out of here. This is a different kind of packaging. Okay, I did. Never mind. All right. I'll pack that up later. This book... Holy cow, you guys, you know, they did that for the uh, 4K of Razorback, too, as it came with a hardback book. Look how long this is. This is like one of those, it fits, anyway, it's really cool. Um, the Secrets of Frank Herbert's Dune, text by James Van Hise. Whoa. Here, I'll just, ooh, th so this is Matt you know, uh, regular book kind of paper. Then you get to the back here. All the concept art is on glossy, glossy paper. Holy cow, you guys, this is beautiful. Wow. Okay. We're not done. Let's talk about possession on 4k here. This possession on 4K. I'm not going to be able to show all of this because of YouTube's standards, which is fine, honestly. But, uh, you know, we talked about this before. This is the 4K release. So we talked about the standard, the, the Blu ray release. <laughs> A Kramer versus Kramer for cinematic extremists, says Rolling Stone. So we got a 4K Ultra HD and Blu ray, over 120 page hardback book, exploring possession by Allison Taylor. Classic poster art, rigid slipcase, classic poster art, design slipcase, eight replica lobby cards, A3 poster, limited numbered release. Oh, wow. Okay, here is this. There's nothing on the back. 
This includes a ton of special features. New audio commentary with film historian Sally Christie, audio commentary with the writer, uh, with director, audio commentary with co-writer, new fail, the failure of language, a video essay by Alexandra Heller Nicholas. Wow. Uh, that's, these are, these are on the 4k disc too. The other side of the wall, making of possession interview with, uh, the director, U S cut of possession repossessed. It goes on and on here. I'm going to hold this up for you guys so you can check it out. Make sure all that's okay. Yeah. It's very fine print down there. Hopefully that shows up. And uh, here's our art cards. Will we be able to show the art cards? Gonna skip this one. Very cool. And then the book is another. Yeah, books are my favorite extras for a physical media release, and I'm loving these hardbacks because they feel so vital and essential. I mean, this is really. Really, really beautiful. Okay, so this is. I think we covered that. We also have to talk about uh, Godless, the Eastfield Exorcism, inspired by true events. This is number 165 of 250. I just realized, aside from Dune, this is a very supernatural. Uh, wave, a very supernatural blast of, uh, of releases here. So this is removable. Oh, nice. Look at that. Let's check out. Do have reversible art with the clean certificate free art. We have a booklet here. Wow, a letter from the director. Here's the contents. Very cool. Put that together in a second. And then last, but certainly not least, is Shine with Jeffrey Rush. Wonderful movie. Um, glad to see this getting Australian distribution. Now, I've got this. I know I've got this in my collection. I'm trying to remember who I have it from. If it's a domestic release. So this was a huge award winner worldwide. It's an Australian film, right? It's Australian. Um, but it was, uh, this Jeffrey Rush was this. I think this is kind of what put Jeffrey Rush on the global map. A lot of special features here. Audio commentary with the director and actor, uh, with Scott Hicks and Jeffrey Rush. The imp, the spirit, the hero playing David Hilgott and Shine with Jeffrey Rush. Sculpting the movie, the experience of directing here. I'll let you guys... Oh, I just dropped my glasses on the ground. This does also have the clean art on the reverse of the art wrap. Well, this is, uh, this is a massive, massive wave of releases from umbrella you know as i'm recording this video i've just had a conversation about the possibility of sony withdrawing from uh from australia and it's like there's a lot of that panic that we felt when disney pulled out of australia i think that there's no smoke to that fire i heard a lot of australians said no no no, it's fine they're switching distributors to somebody else like they're they're passing off distribution to somebody else title should be Resolicited again for January 2024 and then going forward. So I don't think there's any reason to be afraid there. Australia has honestly one of the greatest boutique Blu-ray scenes in the whole world. I, w I just want to like put a little encouragement out there for Australians because I know <laughs> you guys have been through a lot, right? I know it's been a rough year or two and it feels sometimes like you're not being seen by the big studios. But 
look at this. I mean, this is incredible. So I don't want that to be lost. I kind of want to highlight that, that what a great time to be a collector everywhere, including and especially in Australia. So if you're picking these up, let me know. Uh, remember that you can save 15% on your order by using code SERIAL15 when you go to the Umbrella Shop. That's great. I really appreciate them doing that. And uh, let's talk about these releases and the movies themselves, the movies, the TV shows, Dune. You, where were you when Dune <laughs> came on television back in the day? And Children of Dune. This, were, this is a big deal. Uh, let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Thank you so much. Thanks to Umbrella. Till next time, I will catch you later.